Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be about jamming. Uh, I'm going to introduce a tool uh, which is uh, which comes with Dragon OS Focal. As you can see on one of my screen, uh, I'm running right now GQRX. Uh, this is actually connected to my RTL SDR dongle, which is right now monitoring GSM 800, uh, GSM 900 band. And I want to show you the effect of jamming on this. And you would uh, soon see the effect using a jammer that is there. Uh, on the other laptop that I'm using, I have Dragon OS Focal that I'm using. And I'm going to open an app called Clever Jam here. And this app that comes uh, pre compiled in Dragon OS Focal. And we're going to use this. Uh, and we're going to use this particular app called Clever Jam to jam the signal. So this is what you're seeing right now on the screen right here. This is basically all the GSM signals at GSM 900 at about 936 megahertz, which is actually a downlink band for GSM 900. Why am I using GSM 900? Because the dongle that I'm using, uh, it only goes up to because it's, it uses FC0012. Uh, it's a FIDI power. So it goes up to 960 megahertz. That's why I my other dongle is not working now. Uh, it's not like working correctly, uh, but uh, that's why I'm using this particular dongle. This exercise will be good for any other dongle. You can apply it using on GSM 1800 band, 1800 megahertz band, but I just wanted to show you a demo of this. So as you can see this, uh, this is GQRX, which is running, um, monitoring uh, your GSM signal at 930 six megahertz and on this laptop i have clever jam so we're going to simply look at this and there are three different scripts which are available to you one is known as clever dam uh, clever dot pi jam underscore hack rf dot pi jam dot pi you can use any of these scripts which are there uh what i'm gonna do i have connected my hack rf with this and we're gonna transmit a jamming signal and we're going to see the effect of that jamming signal on my actual signal which is being received by my RTL SDR dongle and this RTL SDR dongle okay let me change the position of this because now it's like you know you can see much better because I have to move an antenna the antenna was like uh, now it's in a free space sort of like a spacious area. Um, so let me just quickly run this and I'm going to use a script called jam underscore hack rf dot pi. So jam, uh, so this is going to be, it's a Python script. So jam, okay, underscore, since I'm using my hack rf, hack rf dot pi. All right, I think I have to do sudo with that. So sudo, Okay, so this is the display that you should be seeing, and this is emitting a jamming signal using my hack RF, and you would see start seeing the effect of this. So right now, it's, it's sending a signal at 446 megahertz. I have to tune this frequency to 936 megahertz because this is where I'm visualizing my signal. So let me change this to 936, and we will see the effect. So as soon as I do 936 and let me hit enter this is what you're seeing right now so you can see that jamming effect is taking place the actual signal which was actually being received by my dongle is no longer is being received now this entire spectrum is jumped up let me change this frequency let me go back to 436 and this is the actual position of my signal so I can go ahead and change the frequency here at 436 and we're seeing this and let me change this to 936 here so the jamming effect can move to 936 and this is right now what you're observing at 436 megahertz let me go back to 936 megahertz again let me change this frequency to 936 megahertz and this is what you're seeing and once I change this so let's go to 536 megahertz so right now, this is what you're seeing without jamming, and this is what your earlier signal was actually with jamming. So jamming is taking place. At the same time, 
uh, you, I can I can turn on my other jammer as well, but I won't be able to visualize that because uh, the other homebrew jammer that I have, which actually works at 2.4 gigahertz. So that's that's one of the applications that you can actually see. So right now, let's just see what's going on at 536 megahertz. So it's actually covering quite a huge uh, a huge band. Uh, due to my sampling frequency and things like that because heck RF tends to have uh, about a bandwidth of about 10 megahertz or so uh, as compared to your RTL SDR dongle which is like restricted to some of them are restricted to 1.8 megahertz some of them are restricted to uh, 2.4 gigahertz or 2 gigahertz and things like that so so this is a quick, quick tutorial that indeed you will be able to jam your signal using a single simple hack RF uh, and a tool that is called clever jam uh, I hope you like this very small tutorial on jamming if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching